Hey girlfriends, welcome to my channel. My name's Jody, and I'm so excited to have you today because I am bringing you the last of the affordable drugstore series. This week, I am going over my top picks of the affordable drugstore series that I did, and I've picked out my top four favorite brands, and I've gone through a process of trial and error and a process of elimination, put them in order for you so you get to see my favorite affordable drugstore product. And I have it in today. Can you guess which one it is? All right, keep watching. Hey, curl friends. Today I am starting out this trial of affordable drugstore series to see which one is my favorite. And today we are starting out with two lines that I believe I'm trying for spot number three and spot number four. I do not believe that these two products are my top two favorite, but they are very Good contenders and so I want to give them a shot and see which one is better against the other plus I said in a previous video a while back that I would try side by side with these so these are my results here of this side I have Dove's Amplified Texture and this side I have a Not Your Mother's Curl this one was one that I originally thought might be tied for my top contender but I have since I said that, I have tried a new product, a new affordable drugstore line product that I think has replaced this one. So the, these two are now vying for third and fourth spots. I will say for this wash day, I used a neutral like wash day products that will also apply to the next test of products that I do. But I used my Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner and then I just used the stylers. So for this side, I had the leave-in conditioner and the gel for the Dove Amplify Texture. And then for the Not Your Mothers, I used the curl cream and the gel. I used the regular gel, not the hard hold, but the one that originally came out with the line. And then I used the mousse as well for this side. So this one does have an extra product in it. But we're just going to look and see at my results so far. So... This light I feel like has a little bit better definition, a little bit bigger, chunkier curls. And there's no frizz really under here as far as I can tell at this point. And very minimal frizz up here. This side, the Dove side, is nice, but it has a little bit more piecier curls I feel like. Maybe that's giving me just a slight bit more volume because of the pieciness is kind of allowing my hair to push out. I don't really feel like it has much frizz here at this point, but I do have some more halo frizz up here. I don't know if the camera is picking that up at all, but I can definitely see it in my bathroom mirror. As far as hold, I feel like this one side, the Nacho Mothers might have a little bit more hold, but they're both pretty close. I don't notice an extreme difference as far as hold. So I am going to, this is day one, I'm going to check back on day two tomorrow to give you my final thoughts on which one I think is falls in third place and which one falls in fourth place. And I'm saving my last two products, the top two, just to keep you watching the video. So you'll have to keep watching after this. Okay, curl friends, I am back for day two of this first part of the trial and these are my results. So this is the Dove texture side. I have pretty good definition still. There is some frizz that has worked in there more, but not too terribly bad I feel like. My curls are a little bit piecier on this side and I feel like I have a little bit more volume on here. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. But I think that's due to the fact that my curls are a little bit piecier. Then on this side, I did the Not Your Mother's. And I feel like the curl clumps are just a little bit bigger on this side. And the frizz is about the same, I feel like. There, this side did gain some more frizz over the course of the day, yesterday and while sleeping on it and um overall like the shine i feel like it's the same on both sides yesterday this side might have been a little bit shinier but anyways so i'm looking at definition volume is there much frizz 
shine and even the scents of the products now i didn't talk about this yesterday but neither product line had a strong scent in my opinion i like them both so really that's kind of neutral in my opinion it doesn't have a strong bearing and i couldn't tell any scent lingering once i had applied the products and fully diffused my hair so um if i'm going to sit if i'm going to pick a winner at first i thought i liked the not your mother side better but this side the Dove side, most of yesterday, actually all of yesterday, it had curled up better. I don't know if it's because the curls were piecier and they had less weight, so they could curl up a little bit more. I just felt like I had a little bit tighter curl pattern on this side than I did on this side. And even though I had maybe a little bit more frizz on this side, I still think I like the Dove side better. And then my final, I guess, the reason why I'd probably choose the Dove side is because my husband liked it better. So what he says also matters in this. And so I guess Dove is in third place and Not Your Mother's is in fourth place. So keep watching and then you'll get to see what is my top favorite affordable drugstore and my second place. So stay tuned. Hey girlies, I am back for the second part of the affordable drugstore trial. And I've already done my third and fourth place with Dove being in third and Not Your Mother's being in fourth place. So I am back with my final two products. But before I go any further, I just want to apologize. I use natural lighting and the sun's coming and going. So we're going to have more bright moments and more shadowy moments at times. And I apologize for that. But anyways, so for my final two product lines that I use, can you guess what they are? Drum roll, please. Okay, I, on this side I used Hass Curl Care, and on this side I used Twist by Wee Dad. And I will say that I used the same starter point as far as I used the Functional Beauty Shampoo and Conditioner, the same as I did on the previous test, and then I just used the Styler products. So for the Hask, I used the Curl Cream and the Gel and then the Mousse, and then for the Twist side I used the Lotion and the Gel. And so for my thoughts on this, my definition, I have good definition on this side, I feel like. It is piecier, smaller clumps, so it does give me more volume. I did go a little heavy handed on the product, so it's a little piecey here and kind of stringy looking actually. And I don't really care for that. And even the ends are a little bit more stringy, less curl to them than I recall having before so I do think I went a little heavy handed with the product but um, as far as frizz I don't really have much frizz just very minimal up top but very normal for me and then the shine I have good shine and the scent I always love Hask's scent for this line and so I just I continue to love the scent but I can't really notice it in my hair at this point maybe just the slightest bit so for the twist side I have good definition, but my curls are definitely bigger clumps. And even on the underside, and even this troubled area that doesn't really like to curl, it is bigger clumps. And so that also leads me to have less volume on this side. It's not a huge dramatic difference, and the fact that I have a center part doesn't help matters in my opinion, but that's what we're working with. And then for the frizz, I do have more frizz from the top and into the side than I do on this side. And so I was a little surprised by that. And then as far as the scent, the twist line is very light in scent in my opinion. And I really don't notice it. Yeah, I can't tell now that I have it, have had it in my hair for a while. I can't notice it at all. And the shine, this side is a little less shiny, but it's really not... I mean, it doesn't look dull or dry or anything like that. It's just my hair kind of has an actual shine anyways. So this is day one of my test and I will be back on day two and give you my final thoughts. Okay, curlies, this is day two of my hair and I have on this side the Hass Curl Care and on this side the Twist. And what are my final thoughts on this? I think they've kind of kind of blended like they look a little bit more closer together than they did yesterday for me. At least that's what my eyes are seeing. I don't know if it's looking the same on the camera as it does in my bathroom. 
but I feel like they're starting to look more similar as far as curl pattern, as far as frizz and all that. I do feel like this is still a little bit piecier curls. Maybe that's allowing them to be a little bit tighter, a little bit more curly. This has got some bigger spirals in it. Um, I, I like both parts of it. I really do. I like the bigger spirals. I feel more confident in those that they won't frizz. Although I did have the frizz more so on this side, but I like the piecier um, curls because they are usually a little bit tighter. They do shrink up a little bit more. And for my kind of hair, I like that shrinkage. So it's very close. It's very, very close. And maybe it would have made a difference if I actually shampooed and conditioned my hair with the products on each side, but that was just gonna be too difficult. So I am going to go with my final pick for my number one top affordable drugstore hairline to be the Hask Curl Care. And the second place for Twist. And then if you saw earlier in the video, my third place is Dove and my fourth place is Not Your Mother's, which I was very surprised about the Dove beating out the Not Your Mother's. I had pictured in my head the whole time that I thought not Your Mother's would be in third place. Heck, actually, I thought Not Your Mother's would be in second place before I tried the twist line, so there you go. Um, so have you tried any of these brands? What is your favorite? Do you have a, for a favorite affordable drugstore brand? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye.